Hey, welcome to Chaplain Chat. I wanted to share with you something that happened this week in the jail. And uh, guy, it's, it was just a wow moment for me. Um, earlier in the week, uh, one of the things that I have to do as a chaplain is to give what we call death notification. If an inmate has a relative that passes away, I probably am going to be the one that will tell that inmate. And then we let the inmate make a free phone call to whoever he wants. Well, I found out that morning there was an inmate that is in our jail. His uncle had died. I talked to his mom. We had confirmed it. I said, hey, he's going to be calling you soon. And she said, well, chaplain, can you set this appointment up for later in the day? I'm just so busy in the morning, and I want to be here when he calls. And no problem. We'll call later in the day. Well, that day I was in the women's unit, and uh, I'm going cell to cell, and uh, a young lady came up to me. Had a great talk with her, sharing with her. And I, I asked her as we're talking, does she know who Jesus is? And she goes, well, I think so. I go, well, do you have a relationship with Jesus? Maybe that's the most important question. Do you have a relationship? She goes, do you, and I said, do you know what that means? And she goes, I'm not sure. Well, I have a plan I share. It's a salvation plan. It's what I've been using uh, and I go through this. I said, well, let's go through this. You, you want to do this? She goes, yeah. And you could tell the spirit was there. She's moving. God's spirit's moving. Guy, the Holy Spirit's fantastic. We get through this um, salvation plan. I asked this young lady, do you want to have that relationship with Jesus right now? And she goes, oh, yes. And so we shared a prayer, the sinner's prayer. And after she prayed to invite Jesus into her life, the lady in the next cell, it's interesting, she's starting to cry. I said, well, ma'am, are you okay? And she goes, oh, yes, chaplain. I am really okay because, you see, you're talking to my niece. And I said, that's your aunt? She goes, yes. And, she, and, and the aunt says, and I've been praying, the whole family, we've been praying for such a long time that she starts this relationship. And what a joy to hear or begin a relationship with Jesus. Oh, that's why I'm crying. I'm just so happy. And the niece said, yes, chaplain, and she's been praying, and my boyfriend's been praying. I got a boyfriend who prays for me all the time that I come to know Jesus. I go, really? Hey, l let me give you my office number. If he calls me, I can call him back. I can only call if he connects with me first. He says, well, chaplain, he cannot call you right now. I go, really, why? She says, because chaplain, he's in jail. He's in jail? Yes, and she gave me his name. And people, it was the same young man I'm going to talk to later that day to tell him that his uncle died. The same young man. Now, I couldn't tell her that. But later that day, I met with the young man. I met with the young man to tell him that his uncle had passed away. And I said, um, and we talked, and I said, how are you dealing with this man right now? And he says, well, not good. I, I love my uncle. But chaplain, I do have a relationship with Jesus. I go, oh, that's fantastic. And he says, chaplain, I know you don't remember me, but I started that relationship with Jesus two years ago when I was in this jail. You see, you came into the unit. I don't remember this. And, you, and he said, you were kind of up kind of a hurry that day all you had time for was to do this prayer and you prayed for everybody in the unit that if the Holy Spirit was moving that we open up the door and let him in and my Sally and I heard your prayer and two years ago we opened up our lives and that's when we began a relationship with Jesus and I'm going wow I didn't know that and he goes yeah and chaplain I want to could you pray with me right now because I want to pray for my girlfriend. I've been praying so hard that she come to know Jesus. Would you pray with me? And I said, well, yeah. But now we're going to do a pray, prayer of praise. What are you talking about? And I said, well, i got to tell you something. Two hours ago, I was with your girlfriend. And she began a relationship with Jesus Christ. And he starts to cry. And we thank God. We pray also for the family, the loss of his uncle. But we're praising God that his girlfriend began a relationship with Jesus Christ. 
They're both getting out soon. I can't wait. Maybe I'll get them on Chaplin Chat. Wouldn't that be cool? When they get out, I can talk to them. Because now they want to talk about what does it mean to be a couple? Maybe. What does it mean to be a married couple and have a relationship with Jesus Christ? Well, that's I just had to share with you. Hey, God bless. And I'll see you next time on Chaplin.